All right, we are also closely monitoring any possible power problems across the region. Bryant Reed joins us live with what you can do if your home goes dark. And Bryant, every time people hear about ice coming, I feel like everyone gets worried that they could lose power. Yeah, ice is pretty dangerous, David, and it's one of the things that uh, power companies are concerned about also because just a quarter inch of it can take out power lines and trees. Behind me actually is one of the substations that's going to be working extra hard to make sure that that power stays on. Now with the freezing rain coming, Duquesne Light says that their storm teams are ready to go, which means extra crews ready for customers in Allegheny and Beaver counties if the power does happen to go out. And if it does, we have a few tips for you to make it through. Go ahead and and take a look at your screen right now. You'll see that some of those tips are that you'll want to keep your freezers and refrigerators closed. Use uh, use a generator, but only outdoors and away from windows. Don't use a gas stove or oven to heat your home and have alternative plans for refrigerating any medicines. Now, Duquesne Light says that the good news here is that they're not expecting any heavy winds, but as always, uh, prepare for the worst, but of course, hope for the best. So they say you'll want to keep uh, spare batteries on, portable chargers, as well as flashlights nearby. Reporting live this morning, I'm Brian Reed, KDK News. Brian, thank you. And our KDK weather team is constantly fine tuning this forecast as the storm moves in. You can get the first alert to any new updates via the CBS Pittsburgh app. We'll send new information right to your phone. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in your app store.